Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, these pieces are going to start shipping soon, so I wanted to just kind of go over what all of you can expect when you get yours and just make sure I, you know, do a little uh, background on the piece and, and so you know what to expect. Um, so, first of all, um, I, you know, lots of a lot of things are being said about different uh, uh, EDC items and in the community as far as like whether they're good for ADD or anything like that. I just happen to think of these as, as sculptures and and certainly um, I think looking at sculpture and looking at something can, can make you feel better but I make no <laughs> medical claims whatsoever so I just wanted to kind of say that. Um, uh, other than that I just I wanted to kind of go over the piece and, and just sort of fill you in on, you know, just the basics. Um, for those of you who've never, who haven't had a, owned a slider yet or haven't played with one yet, um, you know, the first thing I want to say is that these inserts um, slide on a little detent, so it's just a spring and a ball inside. It's a really simple mechanism. Um, it's a fun mechanism, um, but what that means is if you push um, really hard on it, you can actually just force this thing right out. You can force it um, past the limits of the detent. That, that's by design. These things assemble easily. They disassemble easily. Uh, that's sort of the point that it's a, a fun little mechanical art piece that you can take apart and play with. Uh, that being said, um, you guys are all, if you take yours apart, you're, you're, you're all going to lose this this little ball bearing. So I'm going to send it with uh, two extra ones for each, for each of you, um, just in case you do lose one. Um, but the reason I say that is because I think most of you um, who play with this are going to figure out really quick how, you know, what's the what's the appropriate way to use it, what's the appropriate way to slide it, and, and you're not going to have any trouble at all. But but one out of every 20 people I hand this to that, that, that have never used one, the first thing they do is they take it and they try and flick it like that as hard as they can and it pops right out. Um, there's, there's no way to adjust for that. If you flick it, um, it makes the, the ball on the spring bounce inside the detent and it's going to pop right out. That's that's just the way it is. It's not a Zippo. It's, it's, <laughs> uh, I think, I think most of you will get the hang of it right away and it won't be an issue, but, but just be warned if you hand this to your friend and you don't explain not to, to, to just pop it as hard as they can, they, they may pop it out and they may lose your spring and they may lose your ball. Um, uh, but other than that, you know, that that's that's the only that's the only uh i guess warning I, I would i would say it's not it's not an issue it's more of a uh just you know learning learning about the piece um other than that um you know the the difference between this one and the original slider uh the biggest difference is that this is an anodized um aluminum body versus the stainless i find that the um you know the aluminum body with the coating um, it's a much harder surface than um, the stainless on stainless or the stainless on brass. So it, once it's broken in, it actually slides really nicely. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm dipping each of these in a PTFE coating, so uh, it should have a nice dry lube on it. But I'm also um, putting a little drop of uh, just like nano lube in the detent when I assemble each one of these. Um, but that being said, when you first get yours, uh, you know, the anodized finish has a very, has like a, a, a sort of gritty micro finish when it first comes out of the bath. So you'll, you'll hear the difference. When you first slide this, it's going to have a little more grip to it. Um, and then after an hour of use or so, it's going to um, be nice and smooth. And, and that's just normal. That's just breaking it in um, and, and wearing in the, the coating. Um, in time, it'll, it'll probably get even smoother. Um, my original slider my original prototype i've been using it for months and months now and it's it slides like glass there's absolutely um no resistance at all so that's actually really kind of nice so i expect these to wear in just the same um other than that uh you know anodized coating is hard um and it's uh, durable, um, but if you kick this thing down the sidewalk because you dropped it, uh, it's still going to chip, and it's going to chip the coating just like anything else. If you, if you, you know, dropped uh, your original S2, it would take nicks and dings, and it would look bad, but it wouldn't change colors. But if you nick uh, the anodizing, you're going to chip it off, and then your color is going to be gone. Um, that, that's just, you know, be careful with it. That's that's all I really need to say. Um, but if you do ding it or chip it, I've actually found that you can kind of blend chips and anodizing using uh, a well a well placed sharpie. But 
you know, I expect you guys to use these things. I expect you to drop them and wear them in and that's fine. They're gonna, they're gonna look nice and beat up and that's gonna be fun too. Some of you guys are keeping yours in pristine condition. I, I think that's awesome too. Um, but yeah, I can't really think of anything else. Um, you know, if you wanna take yours apart um, and you're finding it's too stiff to force out, uh, I find that if you actually put the, slide, the slider between positions like that so that it's on the, the high part of the detent and give it a little twist, um, that, that'll help it ride right out of the detent and it's a little easier to take apart. But, but other than that, you should be able to just kind of push it out with your thumb. Um, and then, as before, putting it back together, you're just, you're just gonna put the ball right on the spring and then just depress it and fit it right back into the, the cavity and till it finds the slot. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's the piece. Um, I think these are turning out great. I really like the anodizing. I think that that's a, a really, um, really nice change. And so um, I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys all think of them. So, so I wanted to add a, an update to the original video that I posted to go over two more things. Um, I was exchanging a few messages with uh, Rich Stadler from Bill It's Been, and he he suggested that I uh, give you guys a forewarning about how about color and about variability in uh, in the outcome um, you can control for a lot of things uh, in machining and in anodizing but there are still a lot of things that you can't control for and so I just wanted you guys to be you know aware that you should expect some variability um, in the pieces that you're getting as far as color is concerned and uh, you know not to mention that you know screens and can, you know, from screen to screen or app to app, you can uh, get an expectation that the color will be one way when in reality it's another. So I, I didn't want anyone to be disappointed, but I also wanted to kind of go over what's interesting about this. You know, um, uh, you know, I, I find inspiration in, in a lot of these technical aspects of, of, of my process. So I thought, you know, why, why not take it as an opportunity? So one of the things that affects um, the color outcome is the, the exact temperature of the tank as the temperature rises it actually will change as, as you anodize things it creates heat and that can change the temperature of the tank and as that temperature rises it will change the size of the pores that are being formed in the aluminum oxide layer and those pores will affect the amount of dye or the shape so the the amount of dye or the shape of the dye will take to the metal differently, and so uh, that has a lot of impact on the final color. Um, interestingly enough, these two pieces are, are a prime example. So these th this piece is obviously way darker than this piece. Um, these two pieces were on the same rack in the same tank and for the same exact lengths of time, same temperature, everything was the same. They were on the same rack. Um, as you can see. Uh, the, the color came out completely different. Now I ordered these uh, bars from the same from one vendor at the same time. So uh, the only thing I can assume is is that one that one of the bars was mislabeled or or there was just a very different uh, different a big difference in the alloy. So something went 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 there that I I don't know what it is. So it was, maybe it was a mistake from the vendor. I'm not sure, um, but. That's an extreme example of, of variability. So anyway, I just I wanted you guys to know the colors are going to be different. I sort of think that that's what's fascinating and interesting about the, the work. And uh, you know, in some ways, it, it means that each of your pieces is going to be unique. So I just wanted to go over that so everyone uh, is aware. And um, if anyone has any real issue, just please get in touch. You know, uh, in, if you changed your mind or if that changes anything, just you know, let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to, to to talk to you about it. Um, the other thing I wanted to go over is uh, someone else who's already gotten theirs mentioned that, that they, they got their piece and, and they noticed that there's just like a little bit of play in the insert. Um, and they, they said that you know their, their original slider wasn't, wasn't quite so loose. And I actually wanted to go over that because it's, it is very intentional. Um, the original sliders were, were made with a, bearing, a, a bronze insert, which is a bearing surface. So you can get away with a lot tighter of a fit um, because you won't have any gawing issues, you won't have any anything like any binding issues. Um, <clears throat> stainless steel and aluminum, I wasn't sure. I wanted to err on the side of like a nice, long, useful life. So I did make these a little bit looser of a fit. I, I actually kind of like that there's a little spring to them. Um, but what that means is that there's actually, um, and what I've noticed is it actually creates a lot less scoring 
on the inserts, which I think is a very big positive. And I, I think overall, it's just gonna make the piece last a lot longer and be functional a lot longer. So um, if you notice there's a little wiggle to it, that's, that's by design. Um, so don't be alarmed. And uh, if I think of anything else to go over, uh, any other little details, I'll, I'll make sure to update the video further. Um, but for now, um, you know, I'm working on these as fast as I can, so uh, we'll be in touch. See ya.